simple IR image processing method with Fastone Image Viewer and GIMP. No Photoshop or Lightroom needed. Works best with images from Nikon. Here's the way to process all your infrared images that collect dust for a long time. You will need a Fastone Image Viewer, which is free. GIMP will help to correct any optical distortion. Processing a 720 nanometers file from Nikon. Open your file in Fastone Image Viewer. I have here a 720 nanometer image that is gray, which means that it has a white balance set to a gray card. Fastone understands raw images, allowing you to open them and save them as TIFFs. Right click on the image, go to Colors, Swap Colors, now hit Ctrl plus E. Increase saturation. This way, it is easier to notice what color to manipulate to get white leaves. Depending on your image, you may need to decrease saturation. It solely depends on how saturated the image is. I use only green and blue sliders to make leaves look white. Grab one slider and move it to the side. If you think the image is getting better, release the slider. If not, return the slider to the previous position and try the other slider. This way you will not oversaturate one color. I have software that reduces blue light on the monitor. Better is turning it off while working on these images. As you can see, it's a bit of guesswork. If you can't get the leaves white, try to make the sky blue. These two things correlate, because when you make the sky blue, sliding those two slides, the leaves or the grass turns white. Let's fix levels. This is the important part. Hit Ctrl plus L, and in the graph, there will be no big empty spaces on the right and left sides. If there is a space on the left, grab the slider and slide it to the right. Hit OK, again press Ctrl plus E and increase the contrast a bit. Please note that the adjustments are tiny. Just make small adjustments and see how the picture changes. Save the image. If you work with a raw image, save it as a TIFF image. TIFF is a lossless format, so the quality will not degrade, no matter how many times you edit the image. Open your image in GIMP. Go to Tools, Transform Tools, Perspective. Grab each top corner of the image and pull it until the vertical lines look good. This will correct any perspective distortion. Export the image. If you plan to work on it further, export it as TIFF. If you have Luminar, you can add a bit of AI enhancement. For example, AI Enhance plus 5, AI Structure plus 5, Luminosity Denoise plus 10, and Color Denoise plus 10. This image probably can have some other adjustments and little fixes, but it is already good enough to show someone and tell them that you are doing infrared photography as a hobby. Processing a 590 nanometer image using the same method. The image is provided by Kervin Ridgely. I think he used the Nikon D80 and a prime lens. Open the image in Fast Stone Image Viewer. Swap red and blue channels. 
right click on the image, colors, swap colors. This looks oversaturated. Therefore, we will decrease saturation a bit. Click Ctrl plus E and decrease the saturation. Now add a bit of green using the green color slider. Do the same manipulations to get the leaves white as previously. Click Ctrl plus L and adjust levels. Most likely, you will need to drag the right slider to the left. Click Ctrl plus M and drag the middle of the lineup and the left part down, the right part up. It should look like a stretched letter S. This will give the image more vibrance. Increase the contrast a bit. You can increase sharpness a bit if you want. Click Ctrl plus U. That's it. If you have Luminar, you can add a bit of AI enhancement. For example, AI Enhance plus 5, AI Structure plus 5, Luminosity Denoise plus 10, and Color Denoise plus 10. For the final image, I also reduced saturation with Fast Tone Image Viewer because the colors were overwhelming.